do it live. Right. We're doing live. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, just to address Jesse's question, because it was a good question. I'm not even sure you know how good it was. Uh, if I had this. Plus two, no matter. Uh, what you got, Jeff? I don't know, Jeff. Man. That'll work. I like it. Because this is a very common mistake. People say, that one's already a whole number, so I'm just going to multiply the parts. No, you don't get a choice. Math says what you do to one side, you must do to the other side. So what do I want to multiply this side by? Ten. So I must multiply this side by ten. So it's going to distribute to both, right? It doesn't matter that it didn't have it, that I don't want it. It requires you to do everybody. So that the equation was here, and I just multiplied everything up by 10. Now they're all still even. They're all still on the same level. So this becomes 8. 10 times 2 is? Guys, hey, 20. If you understand it, just sit there quietly, please. Thank you. And then what's, uh, what do you get here? Four. Four. Is that cool? So it's not, I'm not just attacking the things that have decimals. I have to do the same thing to everything. No matter if they need it or not, it just has to be applied or else my equation is no longer true. Yeah, because you move that decimal over, you have to um, do the other one by 10. Exactly. Yes. So now you just solve this like always. How do I solve this? Yep, subtract one. Now let me give you an example real quick. Uh, point one plus two. What's point one plus two? Don't make too much out. Point one plus two is two point one. Now, if I multiply both sides by 10, stay with me now. This is a little bit weird because this is not, this is an equation, but it doesn't have a variable in it. But still, all the rules of equations hold, no matter if there's unknowns in it or not. So if I multiply both sides by 10, but I think I only have to do the decimal parts, is this still true? No. 10 times 0.1 is 1. Yeah. Leave that alone because there's no decimal. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this wrong, by the way. Please understand. Mm -hmm. Equals 10 times 2.1 is 21. Is 1 plus 2 equal to 21? Yeah. Holy shit, so I needed to do that. Now it's true. Yeah. Nobody can escape, or else you end up with an untrue equation. Poor little dude. Like, everybody. Poor little dude. Okay, sure. <laughs> 10 does everybody. That's what, you said. That's what you said earlier. That's why I was giggling. Oh, I see. That's all right. <laughs> That's the all-inclusive. Not everybody. Okay, Jeff, who yeah, wants to do this? Guys, guys. Do zero. No, zero. Do zero plus two. Zero. 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 Times X maybe or no. X well X point zero two. Oh wait wait wait. Yeah. Do you mean do you mean just multiply that by point oh two? Yeah. Oh. You mean just like that? Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what I meant. But but that's where you just do twice this and then move it back one, two, three, four. Oh. Right. Yeah. All right. But if you had this, <sighs> let me just show you the shortcut here. All right, holy crap. Real quick, real quick. I don't want to. Real quick. Real quick. You ready? How many places do I want this to move? Two, three, four, five. Five. So I can just make everybody move. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So I've done the same thing to both sides. So I don't even have to take it to the level of I need to multiply everything by 100 or 1,000. I just have to move every term. That the same amount. Okay, I so then I get 47x plus 7 equals 2. <coughs> Subtract 7. 47x equals negative 5 divided by 47. 
X is negative 5 over 4 squared. Yes, ma'am? Sure, 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 sure. That's an extreme example, but... All right, all right. All right. So you guys try these. Try these. She wouldn't even experience in the world yet. She was still in She don't know what the she world's like without a gleam in her mom's without eyes. internet. Excuse me. I know. I, I thought I was like the pimpest kid on the block because I had like nine bikes in my front yard and shit, and I had like the Metallica's Black album on tape. Oh. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. I got that bitch on vinyl now. There you go. There's your work button. Pass that. That was pretty easy to solve. <laughs> Say again, sir. How many places do you move? Like, uh, how are you asking? How do we know how many places? Oh, how many places would have to move this so that it becomes a four? If I move it once, doesn't it become just nine? Yeah. Since it's a part of an equation, I can multiply and make that happen. What? Do you get it? Multiply by ten. Yeah. So guys, on this first one, what would you multiply by? Ten. So multiply each thing by ten. Yes. So then this becomes 9 plus 2x. X. And now this should be the easy step. So what do you do? Subtract 9. 
and just start subtracting and adding and stuff. Right. But most of us like whole numbers better. Even me. I know math more than you might ever know I know math. Uh, but I still am not going to use negatives or decimals if I have a choice. Because that's where we make mistakes as humans. So what am I going to multiply this by? A hundred. A hundred. Or you just think of it as, if, as long as you move each term over by two, you're golden. You multiplied everything by 100. So now I got 108 minus 42x equals 24. So what do you guys want to do? Subtract the 108. Yeah, subtract 108, sure. Negative 84. Divide by negative 42. X is 84 divided by 42. Two. All right. So last thing for today. So so I want to make this really clear. Somebody have their chapter five right there. Yes. The packet. Yes. Yeah. I got to remember what section this is. This next test is not going to cover all of chapter five. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> all right. This next test is going to cover through section five five. So five six and five seven will be on the next test after this. Okay. Your son is dancing for all of us. Oh no, did everybody listen to me? Okay. Why don't you five five? So you only have to do homework through five five. Through five five. Okay. So a week from today, chapter four, up through five five homework is due. Five, six, and five seven will be on the test after that. Is everybody with me? So you don't have to do five, six, five, seven homework yet. Thank you. I can put the other ones back on. My cat got reflexes are not working. Bloody, bloody, bloody. Stating a fact, I mean. Five, 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 six. So that's where we got stuck. All right, guys. Stay with me. Here we go. Where are we going? So much. How do you find the average of a bunch of numbers? So if I add these numbers here, how would I find the average of those? If I add them all together and divide by how many there are, I'll get the average. Now let me show you something. Does that sound familiar? Yep. Yeah. Let me let me try to show you something. Watch, watch. Just kind of, we'll do that problem in a second. Or you guys can do it while I'm ranting on about something weird over here. Um, what would the average of these be? What's the average of those? Two. No. One. If you got, if there were four tests and you made an 80 on each of them, what is your average? 80. 80. 80. Let's start here. Average is easy to calculate if all the numbers are the same. Are you with me? Stay with me now. Yes. Now watch. This is kind of cool. If instead I would have made a 76 on the first test, but an 84 on the last test, do you guys see how the average is still 80? It's the same. Because that went down by 4. Still 80. And that went up by 4. It's still the same. Now wait. Let me make sure. Is everybody... All right, all right, all right. So the real idea, the reason why the average is the way it is, it depends on the sum of these. 
So if I tell you the average is 80, do you have any idea what any of the four numbers are? Yeah. No, you don't. Oh. Oh. If I say the average of four numbers is 80, stay, guys, you guys, hey, stay with me. If I said the average of four numbers is 80, one of them could be 18 billion, as long as the next one's like negative 18 billion. Are you kind of with me? As long as the sum still comes out to be a certain thing, what, what do these add up to be? What? What's 80 plus 80 plus 80 plus 80? What's 4 times 80? 16, 24, 32, 3, 320. 320. All right. And is this a quiz right now? Don't you have calculators near you? If I were you, I would. And then you divide that by the Because if I, if I don't make you put them away, I wouldn't have them. Now watch. This still adds up to 320, right? Yes. That was down by 4, but that's up, so they kind of fill each other in. Yes. So it's all about the sum yes. divided by how many, or to distribute that sum across four places. So that kind of evens it out. So that's why the average formula is the way it is. So here, if I add them all up, what do I get when I add these all up? 101. All right, 101? Divided by 5, which would be 20.2. Divided by 5? Which is 20.2. I like it. Which comes out to be 20. Point two. Cool. In shape. Sounds about right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like. Right. And why does it make sense? Twenty point two. The average is right there because that number kind of is a lot bigger than the other ones. It pulls the average up a bit. Do you need to understand that level? Not really. But 20.2 is the average, it kind of is the middle of all the numbers, and it's of course what you guys live by in each class, your average grade, is what you end up with, right? Alright, I like it, I like it. What was it, yes sir? Alright, let me make sure you understand. So if you add up all the numbers, and then divide by how many there are, when you add all these up, you get 101. If you don't trust me, you can do it. Add them all up. And then how many are there? Five. And when you do 101 divided by five, you get 20.2. I don't understand. Do 101 divided by five. That's that's where the 20.2 comes from. Are you with me? If it was 100, 20.2, sir. If it was 100, it would have been 20. 100 divided by 5 is 20. 101 divided by 5 is a little bit more than 20. Awesome. I like it. I like it. And of course, you see why we bring up averages now, because they very often have decimals. Why is it okay to say the average family has 2.5 kids? Why is that okay to say? And, and it doesn't mean that you're going to go to some house. And there's going to be half the kid running around, <laughs> just little legs. Uh, at least he's real quiet. I'm going to call him Nubbins. I'm going to call him Nubbins. <laughs> this is where people lose uh, faith or they lose trust or they're like, what the hell? Averages can be any freaking number they happen to come out to be. So if, if, uh, if I had, uh, let me think a second. If I had five families, and they all had, and, and they had a total of, of uh, what you got, Jeff? Of uh, 12 kids. Do you with me? So there's five families, and there's a total of 12 kids. How many would each family have on average? Do you see why? It doesn't have to come out to be a whole number. I know they each have a whole number of kids. But the average pretends as if everybody has the same exact number of kids. Right? So if I do 12 divided by 5, is that cool? I already added up the number of kids for you. 12. And how many families are we talking about? 5. So 12 divided by 5 is 2.4. So it's, it's not saying that any specific family has 2.4 kids because that .4 kid is freaking me out. Just trying to imagine what it looks like. It's an Adams family kind of thing. Little thing walking around, the point four kid comes out. Comes out. Are you guys kind of with me? That's why we put, guys, hey, guys, 
sit specifically. Uh, that's why we put decimal, the averages in the decimal section because averages totally all the time come out as decimals. Even if they're talking about number of kids, don't freak out. This does not mean anybody has 0.4 of a kid. It just means that's what everybody would have if they were evenly distributed amongst all five families. Obviously, they're not. Some family has one, some another one has three, and so forth. But this is making them all the same. They would all agree at two points. Okay. Uh, last little thing here. If there's 80 people in a room, and 12 are left-handed. What's the probability I would pick a left-handed person? How do you calculate it? Don't tell me the answer. Tell me what the work you would do. Divide it. Divide what by what? Divide that 12 to I love it. Well, 12 divided by 80. Because right. out of 80 people, yeah. how many chances do you have to pick a left-handed person? 12. So exactly the way you would say it, I, out of 80, I have 12 chances out of 80. So really, probability is the same thing as percentage. If I said, what's the percentage of left-handers in the room? You would say the part divided by the whole, 12 divided by 80. I can also say that's the probability. If I can just go in blindfolded and grab somebody, ah! The probability as a left-hander would be whatever this is. What is 12 divided six, by 80? 6.66666. No, it should be uh, 15.15, right? 15 percent. 0.15 as a decimal. Oh, yeah. So now you see also they put some probability stuff in this section because it, it, it obviously it also will come out to be decimals. All right, so that's that last section that, I think it was 0.5, right? 5.5 is about averages and probability. Those are applications of decimals. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Everybody got a copy of the practice test, right? So I'll have the answers for that Tuesday. Otherwise, we are done for the day. Oh. Uh, well, I, I don't have your grades with me. Do you have your, uh, do you have your last test and all that stuff? When is this due? October 16th. Can you do me a favor and send me an email so I can bring it with me on Tuesday and then I can fill it out? Yeah. I gave out copies directly from the book. Uh, the last two times. Oh, you didn't get one of those. You didn't get a packet from chapter five. I didn't get this is the homework? It's the whole book. The homework's in there. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can you have me on my phone? Yes, sir. Please. So the homework in the book. Yeah, it's the whole book. It's all of chapter five, including the homework, yeah.